bring your hearts together in one accord with me in prayer. Let's go before the Lord. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you that I'm alive for such a time as this. Father God, I thank you for your word, your light, your love, your liberty this day. Father God, I thank you for you are truth. I thank you for you are light. I thank you for you are love. I thank you for you are the tried and true way. I thank you, Father God, for you are my strong tower. I thank you, Father God, for you are the beautifier of the me. I thank you, Father God, for you strengthen and you sustain. You guard, you guide, Father God. I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you cover us with a covering that is impenetrable, Father God. You are God and God alone be exalted and be magnified in and through my life this day, Father God. Today, I present my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, and that is my reasonable act of worship, Father God. I yield to the Holy Spirit that is the paraclete, Father God, in the name of Jesus, the one who leads and guides me into all truth, the one who teaches and sifts me, Father God, corrects and leads me. In the name of Jesus, I acknowledge his presence, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we come together, Father God, lifting you up this day, Father God, in the name of Jesus, living, living truly, dealing truly, Father God, living holy and being holy, Father God, as our Father is holy, for without which no one will see the Lord, Father God. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood, I cover every listener, Father God, this day, as well as myself, Father God. With the blood of Jesus, Father God, to the full binding up and dispossessing of all darkness, Father God, to the casting out of every unclean thing, uh, every unclean thought, Father God, for we lead every thought and every hot thing that exalts itself against your true knowledge. We lead it away captive and we teach it to submit to Christ, Father God. We plead the blood of Jesus, Father God, to the full binding up and dispossessing of any demonic force hiding in our flesh, Father God, and hide, hiding in layers of our soul, Father God, for we are not ignorant of the devil's devices, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we hereby bind them up and cast them out, Father God. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood, wash us afresh and cleanse us new, Father God. Give us fresh fire, Father God, fresh water this day, Father God. In the name of Jesus, for we are yielded to your will, Father God. We lift you up, Father God, as we lift up holy hands, Father God, without doubt and without wrath, Father God. And we pray unto you, for we know you heard us always, Father God. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood, we make prayer and supplications for one another, Father God. And for all saints, Father God, we cover one another, Father God. I rebuke the spirit and bind up the spirit of fear, doubt, and unbelief, Father God. Strife, contention, Father God, I bind up and cast out the spirit of procrastination and presumptuousness, Father God. For we must remain on your right time and in your right chance, Father God. I decree and declare no weapon formed against us this day will prosper. Every tongue rising against us in judgment, I condemn it right now. I decree and declare, Father God, that any person, place, or thing, or entity in any realm that has become a burden about our neck, I hereby decree and declare it is removed. Any person, place, or thing, or entity, Father God, in any realm that has become a yoke about our neck, I decree it is destroyed, Father God, because of the anointing, Father God. For who the Son is free, set free is free indeed, Father God. And I thank you for the word of the Spirit of God is there is liberty, Father God. And you have free reign here, Father God. And I thank you that in that free reign, I have perfect liberty. Father God, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood, Father God, I decree and declare that any word uttered, muttered, enchanted in any tongue, any language, Father God, in any realm against us, Father God, against our operation, against this ministry, against our marriage, Father God, against those who have subscribed to this ministry in spirit and in truth, Father God, against our children, Father God, against our productivity, our destiny, and you, I decree and declare null and void, and I command those words back into their bosom, Father God, and let their own words be as fire and brimstone upon their house, Father God, let their own words go back into their bosom as arrows, Father God, dipped in the blood of Jesus that they be tormented day and night, Father God, let their words rain down to destroy every evil altar, Father God. For we suffer not witches and warlocks to live, Father God. And we thank you that we go forth. We set loose the innumerable company of angels, Father God, that are ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those of us who are heirs of salvation, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that they bear us up in their hands, and we would not so much as dash our foot against the stone, Father God. We thank you that what we bind on earth is bound in heaven, what we loose on earth is loosed in heaven, Father God. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Blood, Father God, we pray this day to be filled with the knowledge of your will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that we walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, that we be strengthened with all might according to your glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness, Father God. We pray for you to give to us the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, that the eyes of our understanding be enlightened, Father God. Give us for divine foresight, hindsight, and insight, Father God. Increase our discernment, Father God, that we may be staying at the proper time and chance. Father God, I prophesy over our mouth, not this mind, but those who are following this ministry and spirit and in truth, Father God. I prophesy the tongue of the learned and lips of knowledge, Father God. Our mouth seasoned with grace and full of salt. We speak right words in due season and how forcible are these right words, Father God. The gates of hell will not prevail against your church, Father God. I decree and declare these words will go forth unhindered and unchecked by any outside force. They will accomplish the thing whereunto they are sent. For I pray according unto your will, Father God, with the creativity of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, these words will not fall to the ground, Lord, Father God. I thank you that you are jealous over them to perform them, Father God. For your holy name's sake, for your word's sake, Father God. Bear record to the word of this grace, Father God, and grant signs and wonders with everyone who hears this word, Father God, across the time and places, Father God, in the name of Jesus, for you are not limited by time, and you are not from a realm of time, Father God, though you control it. In the name of Jesus, we yield to you, we bless you, Father God. I seal this prayer, Father God, in the matchless and mighty name of Christ Jesus, and I cover it with his blood, and I say amen.